Hi, Professor Dan Anderson here, and this is the third in a series of what I consider to be the undocumented by Remy Pressis empty hand onions. I've already done empty hand onio number eight, empty hand onio number seven, and now we'll proceed to empty hand onio number six. We start off with a courtesy, and first action is a step forward with the standard parry, capture, counter strike action of modern RNS. And from this point, it goes down into a low hammer fist. So your first action would be, and then at the end of the low hammer fist, the hand retracts one, two with the punch. So done together, From this point, you step back with your left, parry high with your right, parry low with your right, come up and do a push or a check, and then follow through with two punches. From this point, you come up, and what I do is I do an open hand, double hand outward this way. A lot of people will come up and do Block, but the Danism on this is that this replicates actually an empty hand umbrella in which you could capture after a parry one hand or the other. So as opposed to doing this, I will do this. So basically section one would look like this. Section two starts off with a left leg front kick, setting down, and then there's the crossing behind with your right foot while you execute a hammer fist strike. From this point, you step away, and you've got your inside forearm block. Step again, inside forearm block. So putting that section together, it would look like this. From this point, you execute two stepping punches, and if you do it karate fashion, you could step in, bang and stop, step in, bang and stop. Or you could do it in a flowing action, you could go one, two, and then from this point, you've got your left foot, steps behind your right, a low hammer, and then from this point, you'll actually follow up with a back kick or a side kick, your choice. And when you set down, you'll execute the knife hand block. This next series of empty hand actions replicates what you do in Kanonyo number two, where when you step up and you hit, you twirl this around and turn your back and come down this way. And from the side view, up, twirl, and come down it turns into being like this. You've got this hand that circles out and you step up. Notice how I step my foot pretty much right in front of my other foot. This curls around over my head and I back step into a forward step and my hand comes down this way. Showing that from a side view for clarity, I've got up and down just like that. Now, from original facing view, I'm heading towards six o'clock, and then I turn, I face towards 12 o'clock. We have up, down, just like this. My next action, I'm going to go forwards, but my back step is going to be a 90 degree angle towards my left. So my left hand comes out, it comes up, and I circle, and I'm out this way. Now, my last action, I do with my right hand. I step forward, I come up, I circle, but now I step back at a 45 degree angle, and I go one, and then I follow it up 
with a grasp and a press. From this point, one closes the form. So if we put those actions together, we have first action, second action, third action. Close, courtesy. Thank you.